Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel. I'm an intuitive tarot card reader. Welcome to your Do They Miss You love reading. This will be a general reading for those wanting to see if there's someone special who does miss them and who is thinking about them. So this might be an ex-lover, an ex-spouse, someone you are briefly connected to. You might have been involved with this person for many years, days, weeks, months. This is to see if they are missing you and thinking about you. So um, if you would like a private reading, please feel free to reach out to me. My email is listed below this video. I will be going on breaks from private readings very soon. So um, if you'd like to squeeze in one before I do that, you're more than welcome to do that, Libra. Um, otherwise, don't forget to check out your other August readings, which are up on my channel and have been linked to this video. Just want to thank you as per usual for being a part of the channel, uh, supporting it through likes, comments, subscribes, etc. Really, really does mean a lot. So Thanks so much for doing that. Let's jump straight into it and have a look and see. Uh, Libra, do they miss you? Okay, the devil with the ace of swords and the seven of wands. Okay, there's a lot of resistance coming from this person and possibly even bitterness. You do have the devil card. Now, for some of you, if you have dealt with a Capricorn, this might be more heightened for you, uh, the message here. However, the devil does indicate temptation, power, overindulgence, gluttony, greed, anything that's not really healthy for us. So I do feel like, um, you know, the devil can also have a lot of influence and power over us. So I definitely feel like you still have a very, very large influence on someone here, okay? They might be struggling to get over you. They definitely do miss you, but there's possibly a, an attachment or an even an obsessive or unhealthy attachment here. So this might be displayed um, in the sense of jealousy, um, you know, not being able to let go, someone that's still very much involved in your life, still believes they have a say, etc. Because the devil card is power and control. You can see this person locked away here and they're under the submission of the devil. So for a lot of you, um, this is someone that has or is wanting power play. But I think it's because the reading is more centered on them. I do feel like it's someone that feels they're still bound to you or you still have them wrapped around your finger here, Libra. Uh, whether this is intentional or unintentional, they still feel they're under your power or they're under your influence or they're under your control with the devil card here as well. Um, the devil card can also have strong sexual connotation here. There is a nude figure here. So there might be someone who's wanting to reconnect with you purely for sexual um, pleasures, okay? So purely for a physical relationship, they might be missing that physical intimacy. You might have done something for them that was very special or had them, you know, really, really turned on and they're actually missing you doing that, Libra. So um, very strong sexual longing or desire happening here. Um, they might be thinking about you and becoming aroused as well with the devil card here. Um, what's interesting is that the devil literally faces the ace of swords, which, which can be seen as a bit of a struggle here. As much as the, the Ace of Swords is from the divine realm, the gods, the angels, the universe, it does indicate a struggle or a need to cut out toxic energy. Um, look, there might be someone really struggling to come to grips with the way things ended, and there's a lot of defensiveness and or resistance coming forward with the Seven of Wands. The Ace of Swords can be seen as a time to pick up your sword and fight for something. So it's either A, this person wants to fight for you, or B, they're fighting with you still. They're still in defensive mode. If you're trying to get them on a deeper level here, in particular if it is an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, as represented by the swords, this might prove a little bit challenging here, Libra, because essentially they're still putting up a fight or they're still showing resistance, possessiveness, or conflict or opposition, okay? Possibly there's a lot of anger still residing within this person. There's a lot of residual feelings from your disconnection. Um, but I do see, just be mindful with the devil and the ace of swords that this person isn't wanting to establish a new physical connection. Um, are they willing to swallow their pride, change their ways, fix up their anger, defensiveness, tone, etc.? It's hard to say. Obviously, every situation will be different. But there is someone here who might be wanting something physical with you, but will get defensive when you want more or when you believe you deserve more or uh, want more from this person. 
that could be um, a bit of a struggle for them actually Libra because the seven of ones is opposition you can see it's territory possessiveness protection um, defensiveness opposition conflict wrath um, you know it is fire energy so I'm wondering if this is more of a fire sign for those that were connected to an Aries Sag or Leo this might be the case more so but the seven of wands really points to feeling like you're backed in a corner here and and trying to really defend yourself someone could feel like you've put a lot of blame on them again every situation is different but someone might feel very backed up in a corner they might feel like they don't have any room to explain themselves or to grow or to evolve or right now they don't feel they can move past what you had they're trying to fight feelings or fight thoughts um, but be careful because the devil can manipulate, can tempt. So it's either A, this person is trying to do this to you, or some of you might have someone that's feeling like they've been manipulated or tempted by you in some way that you've maybe played them around a little bit here, Libra. Okay, so if you've done that, this person is definitely feeling it. They're feeling it quite intensely. They feel like they're backed up in a corner. Um, you know, and it's a very, they don't know how to really gauge or read the situation or read where you are, but they could lash out at you. And this might be their way of dealing. This is, might be their coping mechanism. And obviously people deal with things differently and depending how everything happened between the two of you. Um, it almost looks like cubs here. So if you do have children with this person, like if this is an ex-spouse or someone that gave you children or someone that you got pregnant or you share foster children, adoption children, or anything like that, that might be more heightened. That really um, opposition, angry energy might be diverted more between the two of you. But there is someone who's feeling like they're backed up in a corner. Um, you know, they're feeling really, really restricted in a way. They want to break free. They want to break the cycle. They want to um, have newness renewals, which is what the Ace of Swords represents. But some of you, um, there is someone here who wants another start with you. But I'm wondering, the devil and the seven of wands energy, you might, you know, need to be careful if you want, if you're wanting another connection with this person. Mm. I will leave it at that though, Libra. Just want to thank you again for watching, um, liking, subscribing, etc. Really, really does mean a lot.